one action item, and that's the uh, currency ordinance, which is something I uh, work on with uh, Chief Edwards. I think it started in March. Uh, and this incorporates the change in the law on currency ordinances that took place in March. So that's my item. So this is basically just keeping up with the state statute. Yeah. Well, you, you, you can either have it, you know, if you don't have the ordinance, then you don't have the opportunity to enforce uh, through your city ordinance. All the other time. Yeah, I had uh, sent out an email to everyone today. Uh, I had uh, a conversation with uh, Superintendent Suttles uh, about this, and uh, he uh, was willing to, perhaps next meeting, uh, provide some information on this truancy issue. Uh, I, I personally like to table this to have an education committee uh, to have him come in and talk about it uh, and what this means to our city to have a truancy law in place and what other municipalities are doing around the area. Uh, the other reason being, uh, I understand Tom and Joe working on this. Uh, I just I just wish this would have come to me first instead of having the rest of the back. Council would like, I'd like to take this to committee to have Mr. Sullivan's come in and other members of the school board to talk about the you know, truancy law. disadvantage in that uh, I do not attend the meetings regularly and Chief Edwards he comes in and he communicates things like this with you you know over time and so I'll, I'll try to be real brief but just to kind of give a little bit of history as far as how we got to this point here the uh, regional superintendent uh, uh, of education uh, which is Randolph Monroe County about three years ago they uh, formed a, a, a truancy board and the reason they did that is there was a problem in Monroe County as a whole, in Randolph County also, as far as just uh, uh, truant children. And they were looking for a way to uh, kind of help that or uh, solutions to the problem. And when I say a board, the board consists of the state's attorney, all the chiefs of police of Monroe County, the sheriff, the region, or representative from the regional superintendent of schools, uh, a truancy officer, which is Mr. Reynolds, people from human support, school counselors, and there's just a whole list of people that uh, could assist, like the, the truant youth. And so it's like a, a wraparound concept is what it is. And Chief Edwards, he served on that board for uh, about three years. Well, uh, the board, and I, I have filled in for Chief Edwards, uh, you know, in the past a few times, uh, much like I do here, in, in that, uh, in the meeting of the board or the, uh, the truancy board, uh, they had discussed as far as Mr. Reynolds' lack of resources to address like the truant problems in Monroe County as a whole. And it's something where they're recommending, you know, that body to like all of the municipalities and the sheriff's office to come up with the ordinance where, uh, you know, Tom's prepared here uh, tonight. And so it's something where uh, the Monroe County Sheriff's Department, they have, uh, you know, enacted an ordinance uh, much similar to what Tom has here to uh, present. And uh, it's, uh, it's something like where the reason where the time frame is like now, we were waiting for the changes in the state statute where that uh, took place like in June. And so we're presenting that to you here in the month of July with the hopes that, you know, at the start of the school year, we could have, you know, some sort of uh, a truancy ordinance on the books where we could, uh, uh, you know, enforce that or at least help Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Reynolds in that uh, capacity. And I can give you examples as far as why I think that's important. If you do, this may be enough information for you here. You know, if you have any questions. Well, if, if you want to come to our to, to the committee meeting, I mean, I would really like to have a committee with the superintendent here to, and other and other members of the public to have any concerns that they have for, in regards to this. Uh, I know just talking to some folks over the weekend, and on Friday, uh, we just have to do it, but. It's, it does build some some concerns uh, on, on several different fronts, but I think you know if we follow the process here, it'll, it'll benefit everyone. Uh, that's again, that's I'm just one one voice on it. I think it'll, it'll benefit everyone. Help explain it from your standpoint and the school board standpoint. Uh, so uh, that's if the council wishes to do that. That's what, that's what I'm not.
is Mr. Yes. Yeah, and what we're in essence asking here is that we uh, make all of the Columbia police officers truant officers where they can deal with these situations as they're occurring. Okay. 